Alas, poor Yurik. I knew him, Horatio. A fellow of infinite jest, of most excellent fancy. He hath borne me on his back a thousand times, and now, how abhorrent my imagination is. My gourd rises at it. Here hung these lips that I have kissed, I know not how oft. Where be your gibbs now, your gambles, your songs, your flashes of merriment that were wont to set the table on a roar? Not one now to mock your own grinning. Quite chop fallen. Now get you to my lady's chamber and tell her, let her paint an inch thick. To this favor, she must come. Make her laugh at that, pray thee, Horatio. Tell me one thing. All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances, and one man in his time plays many parts, his acts being seven ages. At first the infant mewling and puking in the nurse's arms, then whining the schoolboy with his satchel and shining morning face, creeping like a snail unwillingly to school, and then the lover, sighing like furnace with woeful ballon made to his mistress' eyebrow, then a soldier full of strange oaths, and bearded like the par, jealous in honor, sudden and quick in quarrel, seeking the bubble reputation even in the cannon's mouth, and then the justice, in fair round belly with good comp and lined, with eyes sever and beard formal cut, full of wise saws and modern instances, and so he plays his part. Out of this wood do not desire to go. Thou shalt remain here, where thou wilt or no. I am a spirit of no common rate. The summer still doth tend upon my state, and I do love thee, therefore go with me. I'll give thee fairies to attend on thee, and they shall fetch thee jewels from the deep, and sing while thou on pressed flowers dost sleep. And I will purge thy mortal grossness so, that thou shalt like an airy spirit go. Peas blossom, cobweb, moat and mustard seed. Be kind and courteous to this gentleman. Hop in his walks and gamble in his eyes. Feed him with apricots and dewberries, with purple grapes, green figs, and mulberries. The honey bags steal from the honey bees. And the four night tapers crop their waxen thighs and light them out of fiery glowworm's eyes that have my love to bed and to arise and pluck the wings from painted butterflies to fan the moonbeams from his sleeping eyes, nod to him elves and do him courtesies. <laughs>